In the last video, we introduced the idea of line integrals, motivating them by the physical example of wanting to calculate how much work is done on a particle by moving it from a point R1 to a point R2 uh, with some force F. We left off in the last video by saying that we needed a general way of describing curves over which these particles can travel on. And the idea is for a given curve that we're going to denote with the letter capital gamma, we can, there is a parametric representation for which each one of our coordinate variables can be described in terms of a function of a single parameter u. So r is a vector function which means that it has a component in the i hat direction that tells you how x varies as a function of u along your curve. A j hat component that tells you how y varies along your curve as a function of u. And a k hat component that tells you how z varies as a function of u along your curve. And typically, you'll be given a parametrization for a curve, unless it's simple like a circle or a straight line. And then you'll be asked to calculate a line integral along that curve. So given an equation like this, we need a way of translating a line integral such as this one, into something that we can calculate. Which was how do we define the work. So to do that, I'm just going to redraw the curve here a little bit bigger. So you start out in some position given by R of U. And then we're going to move to point R U plus D U. Now, by the way that you add vectors, you should know that taking the difference of these two vectors gives us a, another vector we're going to call dr. And it goes something like this. OK. Now, when these two points are sufficiently close together, dr is going to be tangent to the curve. So we can also write this vector in terms of a length, dr, and a tangent vector that we're going to call t hat. t hat is a tangent unit vector. We can rewrite the norm of a vector as the square root of the dot product of the vector with itself. Again, retaining t hat, which gives, gives us the direction of the vector. And We can rewrite this like so. So here, ds gives us the arc length of our displacement along this curve. And for now, we set it equal to 
this dot product. Now we're going to do something that's commonly done in physics, but is often frowned upon by uh, mathematicians. I'm going to take this equation and we're going to divide it on both sides by du. Notice that because I have a square root here, I can divide it by du square and distribute the du's to both of these uh, terms. All right, so what we have then is dr, which we said was equal to ds, giving us the magnitude of the displacement times the tangent at that point, giving us the direction. This is equal to the following, the dot product of the derivative of our parametric representation of our curve with respect to the dummy variable, u. Take the dot product of those derivatives, multiply by du times a tangent. In other words, this is saying that in order to calculate the line integral along a curve parameter parametrized by the vector function r. We can replace this by f times the tangent vector along the curve at a given point. Times the following term. So the dot product of the derivative of our parametric representation with itself. Integrate it with respect to our dummy variable u. All right, so this is how we're going to practically calculate line integrals. In the next video, we'll go through some properties of line integrals and then follow up that with a an example explicitly showing how to use these, this formula.